TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Uh, right behind me, you see it, man. It's the warning screen, man. Take heed of, of it. No, I do not have a green screen today. I left it. I'm I'm on the move today. I don't have it. <laughs> um, but I'll have it tomorrow. Uh, don't forget, man, twitch.com. If you want to catch a live, username's at the bottom. Patreon, merch is all in the description if you want to take a look at everything, man. This is UK Drill Plug, the Deadly Divide in Manchester. TDR versus TCG. Never heard. Or have have we done? I don't know. Copyright, copyright disclaimer, disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, comment news reporting, reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. Talk to me. From an outside look in, Manchester appears as a safe city, with it being located in the northwest of England. However, no, no. From the, I, I don't think Manchester's. A, I don't think no city is real safe. The big cities, none of them. Uh, but. I like Manchester, for sure. For what a lot of people are unaware of is the ongoing gang war resulting in the crime rate soaring in Manchester, with Manchester even being ranked within the top three most dangerous cities in England in a recent study, with Manchester having over 95,000 reported crimes, which is crazy considering the population of Manchester is around 500,000. Manchester has also even been labeled the murder capital of the UK. In recent years, the ongoing gang war between two gangs in Manchester would begin to be publicized, these two gangs being TDR and TCG. This rivalry has proven to be deadly, with people being stabbed, shot, and killed due to their involvement. Before I start the video, I'll be sharing today's paid promo. If you are an underground or up and coming amazing customer, I try taking a line like. Comments gang based around multiple. And maybe you can be the next to blow in the rap scene. TDR is a large street gang based around multiple roads around the M16 postcode of Manchester. These roads include Platte Lane and Whitmore Road to name a few. The gang has been around since the mid-1990s with them originally going by other names. The original gang would form in the mid-1990s. They would be referred to as the Gooch Crips around this time. With them heavily flagging the color blue, it's clear they took inspiration. I'm not saying nothing funny, I just gotta point it out. I thought a gooch was the space in between one piece of human anatomy and the other piece of human anatomy. No disrespect. Is that, like, talk to me from America. Anyways, the gang during this time was mainly composed of street dealers that would do anything to protect their territory. Their main rivals around this time was with another street gang referred to as the Pepper Hill Gang, which has become TCG in recent years. Anyways, around 1996, a younger offshoot gang would start to appear. This gang was referred to as Young Gooch Gang and was known to be a quite feared gang in the area, with them gaining a reputation as shootings and stabbings. That's insane would be linked to the gang. Around 2005, many different offshoot gangs would start to pop up under the Young Gooch Gang name. This included the Old Trafford Crips, Longsight Street Soldiers, Russ Home Crip Gang, Fallowfield Mad Dogs, and the Take Dat Risk Gang, which we know as TDR today. These gangs fall under an alliance known as Gooch Crips, which include the Russ Home Crips, or nicknamed RCG. So for simplicity's sake, I'll be including RCG and TDR in this video, as they share a lot of the same beef and are allied. Popular members from TDR include MB, Soldier Souls and Abs. Now similarly to the Crip Alliance, around the mid-1990s there would also be a Blood Alliance formed. This included many different street gangs that rep- Hold on. The color red and made all of their beef focused towards the Crip gangs within the area. So much so that so many shootings and stabbings would occur between the gangs. Residents living in each area would actually leave the area, moving to safer places within Manchester. Around the 2000s, the Blood Alliance would consist of the Moss Side Bloods, TCG, Doddington, and Hume. However, in recent years, inside beef would start to occur within the Alliance, most likely due to either money or drugs. Nowadays, the current generation of these gangs consists of AO or Active Only and TCG. 
or Top Crash Gang, with a lot of their old beef still continuing today. Prominent members of TCG include SK, Jenna, and Tal Greasy. Both TDR and TCG have had a rivalry since the mid-1990s. The beef would begin when TCG members would start selling drugs on TDR territory. Both of these gangs were known by different names at the time. However, for simplicity's sake, I'll refer to them as TDR and TCG. Anyways, due to the two gangs starting to associate themselves with colors, it started to look like a Crip versus Bloods gang. War was playing out in front of our eyes. Stabbings, shootings, and murders would be very common between the gangs. In recent years, the beef would prove to be insanely deadly. On the 30th of December 2015, a man would be shot in the chest while standing on Salisbury Street within TCG territory. It's largely speculated the people behind this brazen attack were either TDR members or RCG members, which are allied under the Crip gangs. Anyways, the beef would explode around this time, and on the 22nd of March 2016, a young man often referred to as Muds would be fatally stabbed in Moss Side. Police and emergency services would arrive on the scene, however Muds would sadly be pronounced dead on the scene. The killers would flee with a murder investigation being launched. During the investigation, all of the members involved would be arrested and sentenced for the murder, with the killer Abdurashid Booz being sentenced to life with a minimum of 23 years. He would even point gun fingers at the family of Muds, and would even smirk at them. Manchester Evening News yeah. would go on to- Yeah, got his ass a life sentence. Nobody won. Report this, with them starting to report on the ongoing Russholm Crips and Moss Side Bloods war within Manchester. Only two months later, on the 12th of May 2016, a member of the Russholm Crips, or RCG, named Abdul Hafidah, would be walking on Moss Side territory, home to the AO gang allied with TCG. A gang of AO members would spot Abdul and would drive into him with their Vauxhall Corsa. The members within the car would jump out of the car and stab him multiple times in the neck and abdomen. Police and emergency services would arrive following the incident. Ambulance would try their best to save Abdul. However, despite their best attempts, he would sadly be pronounced dead on the scene with a murder investigation being launched. All 11 of the men involved in the incident would be arrested. Man, am I crazy to think, man, if you're in a gang and you get, get into some gang beef and another gang member allegedly, like, unalive you, I don't even think they should investigate it. That'd be, nah, that'd be too crazy. It'd be so lawless out here. But, like, still... I, like, I be thinking that sometime, like, Brendan bro, bro knew what was going on and would be handed life sentences. Rest in peace, Abdul. Shootings and stabbings would continue following All this, right, with the crime rate within Manchester rising. It would peak do. around 2017 and 18, with there being 122.6 crimes per 1,000 people, compared to the previous years being 105 crimes in 2016 and 81 crimes in 2015. Around the end of 2016 and start of 2017, a gang based around the Gartside estate within Ardwick on the M12 and M13 postcodes would start to make noise in the streets. The gang based here would be referred to as 7M, with them being affiliated with nearby Longsight. They have beef with the Moss Side Bloods, which includes TCG. The 7M gang would start to drop songs around the start of 2017, with them dropping songs like Breaking Bad and RNO. However, six days after the release of Breaking Bad, the 7M gang would find themselves in the news. On the 8th of August 2017, eight members of 7M would be hanging out outside of a chippy near the Manchester Apollo when they would get a phone call from a drug dealer, tipping them off about the whereabouts of a rival. Around this time, a member of an alleged opposition gang named Sate would get off a bus coming from Manchester City Centre. As he was getting off the bus, he would be alerted of the presence of opposition members nearby. A stolen Fiat 500 would approach, this containing the 7M members. The members would drive into Sate and his friends. Sate and his friends, who were allegedly TCG members, would flee towards Moss Side's Millennium Park. The 7M members would catch up and a massive fight would ensue, with the 7M members shouting, Dip him! This attack would result in Sate and his three other friends being stabbed. However, Sate's wounds would prove to be deadly, with police and emergency services being called to the scene. Paramedics would try their best to assist Sate, however the wound was critical, and despite their best attempts at saving Sate, he would sadly be pronounced dead moments later, with a murder- I mean, RIP, man, but like I said, man, investigation being launched following this police would find and connect all eight members of the 7m gang to the crime and in you know what i'm saying anyway the ops the ops don't want justice for their homies they want to go you know what i'm saying they want to spin about it but like like i'm not trying to say I, i'm condoning anything or perpetuating anything but i mean man just i mean everybody know what y'all getting into because life could be shortcut, cut short in so many ways when you're dealing in, 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 in gang violence.
2018, all eight of the members would be handed a life sentence. Rest in peace, Sate. Now, Sate is often dissed in recent TDR songs by members like MB, who are often heard disrespecting him and talking about the incident within songs. Dead one drop from the hunting seat and the ride got more than spleech. Last year it was convoys. Following the death of Sate, stabbings and shootings <coughs> would continue to play out between the gangs, with the crime rate slowly rising. Around August 2018, a mass shooting would be reported within Moss Side, with residents claiming shots were fired around 2 a.m. at a street party. Twelve people would be injured, with nine of those people being hit by the bullets. However, luckily no one would die. Two men would be arrested following this incident, with them being charged for possession of a fire. You know what I will say? I think there's more involved rappers in the UK than there is in America, for sure. In America, they be cap rapping. In the UK, they be cap rapping too, but like, you can tell by how many of y'all them is locked up that firearm and attempted murder. However, I couldn't find if these people were sentenced. Whilst it's unknown if this was a random attack or a shootout, what is known is that this war was becoming a danger to the public, with innocent civilians being impacted. 2019 and 2020 would be dangerous years in the beef, with stabbings and shootings being a regular occurrence. This then resulted in the crime rate soaring, with over 88,000 reported crimes to do with violence against other people. 2020 would prove to be a dangerous year within the rivalry with another mass shooting being reported in Moss Side. On the 21st of June 2020, a street party was being held within Moss Side. At around 12 a.m., a male would arrive at the street party with a gun and would open fire, shooting at two males standing in a car park. Both males would be hit and would be in fatal condition. They would be rushed to hospital. However, they would both die moments later. With one of these members being a TCG member named Cherry, police and detectives would launch a murder investigation following this, with them arresting a woman from Birmingham. However, she would be released. Police would later arrest a 25-year-old man. However, he was also released. Until Till this day, police are still searching for the killer. Rest in peace. Following this incident, the beef between two- Like, these are interesting. But me coming from where I come from, it's like, I might have to stop watching these because it's like, hey, y'all niggas chose this. <laughs> like, RIP, but y'all chose this. I got dead homies too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like- <laughs> EDR and TCG would escalate further, and it would be around a month later that the next person would be killed due to the beef. I don't get done. On the 26th of July, 2020, an RCG member named Mo would be playing football with friends in Moss Side. What he didn't know was that TCG members would be looking to kill. The group would be seen walking from Kranzik Street towards Henbury Street. They would spot Mo who was playing football with his friends. The group would begin to chase Mo. Mo would be cornered by the group and would try to flee. Mm -hmm. However, the members would catch up and stab Mo in the heart. The killers would flee, leaving Mo to die. They were seen running. What I tell y'all, gangsters cannot have fun. Ain't no fun. You can't go to the park and shoot hoops and kick soccer balls around. You can't have a regular job. You can barely go to the grocery store. Like, you gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be, uh, you gotta be mindful of these things. Back down Henbury Street on CCTV following the incident, police and emergency services would be called to the scene following the stabbing. However, sadly, Mo would be pronounced dead moments later, with a murder investigation being launched following this. All four of the members would be arrested and charged for the murder, and in 2021, all of the members would get life sentences with a combined sentence of 54 years. Three of them- You know what I'm saying? And see, now Mo lost his life, but three of your members lost their life too. By the time they get out of jail, if they ever get out of jail, they're going to be 50. It's going to be flying cars. It's going to be hovering Jordans. You're going to be able to put a Jordan on you. You're going to be hovering across Earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Just imagine, like, say when you getting out, the number. What, what year are you getting out, bro? 2050? Like, come on, bro. Like, nah. 2050 is insane. How do you even, like, you know what I'm saying? How do you even... Members got 15, 14, and 12 years, and the other member got 13 years and six months after pleading guilty to possession of a firearm with intent to cause fear of violence. In court, videos... 15 years of... of you live in no-nut November for 
every month of the year. It's crazy. From one of the defendant's phones would show images of dead opposition members, including Mo, mixed in with weed. Another video would show the killer rapping and talking about the killing of Mo. Rest in peace, Mo. Following the death of Mo, deadly attacks would continue to play out between the gangs. And in October 2020, four boys of the TDR gang would be stabbed by TCG members in one day. This included two boys aged 16 and 15, who suffered critical wounds after being stabbed, with the 15-year-old being stabbed in the chest by the TCG members. This is often referenced in new TCG tracks with lyrics like, Been in a grave, mucking up a chat on my TCGs. We flew out the ride and got four in a day. And Mills must have paid to the law. Anyways, 2020 would end with 2021 beginning and the war continuing. In 2021, both TCG and TDR would begin to make music, with a lot of their songs being leaked. The music videos released officially by the gangs would be taken off YouTube due to how rude they were. Prominent members of TDR around this time would be MZ and MB, and in the TCG gang, prominent members included LK, Jenna, and SK. However, it would be around June 2021 that the beef would get heated again. On the 29th of June 2020, yeah, I feel like drill rap is not dead. It's not a dead rap. It's just, you're not creative enough. Oh man, my videos keep getting taken down, man. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. I'm gonna try to just be more creative. Yes, the shock value, ooh, but like, you gotta be able to talk in, in code or something. Like you gotta say it like a different type of way. Package it differently. A young member of TDR named MZ would allegedly get the drop on a TCG member's house. This TCG member was named LK. MZ would arrive at LK's home and begin shooting into the house, which was empty with no one being there at the time. Anyways, MZ would flee following this with police being called after reports of a gun being fired. An investigation would be launched with police actively searching for the shooter. However, before police could arrest anyone, MZ would sadly become victim to the streets. On the 9th of September 2021, MZ and his friends would be traveling in a blue BMW. W, when TCG members would spot the group within the car. The TCG members would use a stolen car and would begin to chase MZ and his friends in the car. The chase would last a while, however it would end when the car that held the TDR members would crash. MZ and his friends would hop out of the car and start running. The TCG members would jump out of their car and start chasing MZ and his friends. This was caught on CCTV, and when one of the TCG members named Marquis Richards would start to get tired, he would pass the knife to another member named Ryan Cashin, who would continue to take chase. MZ would start knocking on people's doors asking for Ryan Cash. No offense, but he looked like a crash. He looked like he had crashed out. That's exactly what he did. Who would continue to take chase. MZ would start knocking on people's doors asking for any help. However, no one would answer. So MZ then lay on the floor in order to hide from the attackers. However, the TCG member Ryan Cashin would catch up and shout, Got you, before stabbing MZ multiple times. Got you, like this is tag or something. The TCG members would flee, with police and emergency services being called to the scene following the incident. When ambulances would arrive, they would attempt to perform open heart surgery in the street. However, despite their best attempts, MZ- Open heart surgery in the street? By ambulance? Like, by, by, by paramedics? I, I mean, I guess- Zed would sadly be pronounced dead on the scene, with a murder they investigation being launched can. following this. All three of the members would be arrested following the incident, with all of the members being handed life sentences. Even though two of the members didn't actually kill MZ, the judge argued that they had the intent on killing MZ. Following the sentencing of the teens, Marky Richards would look at MZ's mom and shout, Your son got smoked, towards the grieving mother. Rest in peace, MZ. Follow- <laughs> MZ's mom and shout, Your son got smoked. Wow. Towards the mother. Rest in peace, MZ. Following the death of MZ, a teenager would be shot in the chest, and another shooting would That's mad disrespect. occur around Moss Side, with news channels starting to refer to Moss Side as GTA due to the amount of violence happening around this area. After the death of MZ, a TDR member named MB would begin to rap. A song would be leaked around this time titled Rest in Peace, MZ, which was a tribute song to MZ. We started off as two hood brothers, hand on my heart, the Lord knows what stops me half out the ride with his two pop bottle. RP MZ, he knows that I love him. Without you, yeah, feel it's clear MZ had a huge impact on TDR, with him being remembered by a lot of TDR. 2022 would begin with a lot of TCGs and TDR's music being leaked. This included a song titled Exposing Ops from MB, which was a seriously cold song, and a lot of the comments would be quick to point out the fact that MB was flowing seriously and was riding the beat. TCG would have a song titled Die Young by LK and other TCG members. Fans would start to point out the fact that LK had a seriously deep and cold voice for UK drill. Anyway, 
ways, it wouldn't be long until the next person involved in the beat would sadly be killed. On the 20th of April 2022, a member of ATM named Neri would be with his nephew. They would spot 7M members and would begin to chase them armed with knives. However, the 7M members would run into a shop and wait inside. After Neri and his nephew would leave, the 7M members would exit the shop and get into a nearby car. Whilst driving, they would spot Neri resulting in a car chase. The 7M members would end up approaching Neri's window. A fight would then ensue between the two groups. This sadly would end with Neri being stabbed multiple times. The members would flee following this with police and ambulance is being called to the scene. However, despite their best attempts at saving Neri, he would sadly be pronounced dead moments later, with yet again another murder investigation being launched. Following the murder, both 7M members would be arrested. This included a 7M member named RB and Mishai. Both of the members would be given life sentences. However, RB would be given 24 years for murder, and Mishai was given 14 years for manslaughter. Following the death of Neri, TDR members like MB would begin to mock the incident loads on songs due to 7M and TDR being close, and the 7M members involved would also be pictured at MZ's funeral a year prior. During 2022, TDR member MB would begin to gain a lot of attention after dropping hard songs that contained seriously rude bars. He would gain a lot of attention with songs like Drilling Room and New Ops, which both have over 100,000 views. Now, the beef has continued within the- I don't know if I heard of you, though streets. However, a lot of the incidents would be kept out of the public eye, with a lot of the stabbings and shootings around this time being unsolved and not documented. However, only two weeks ago, another person would fall victim to the war. On the 4th of April 2024, a young member of TCG this year. named P-Money would be walking within Moss Side when he would be approached by opposition members believed to be TDR members. However, this hasn't been confirmed. The members would have an altercation. However, it would sadly result in P-Money being stabbed multiple times. The opposition members would flee following the incident. With P-Money being left to bleed out, police and paramedics would arrive on the scene shortly after. However, sadly, P-Money would be pronounced dead moments later. A murder investigation would be launched recently seeing the arrests of three boys. However, their identities have not been released and probably won't until we see a full trial take place. At this point in time, it's hard to say if this incident was related and who the attackers were. Rest in peace, P-Money. Now, if you have learned anything from this video, make sure it's that the road life isn't worth it and Nah, yeah, nah, now, yeah, now North London has often been credited to that road life, man. You either go, you literally, when it's active like that, you literally only going to jail or going to go meet the devil. Cause living like that, you can't go to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So like, R.I.P. and freedom. I'm gone.